since there is no news no games transfer market is dead i thought why not to make a video and speak about how did i become a barca fan before we start the story, please make sure to like and subscribe. That will mean a lot. Thank you. So, it all started in 2007. Yeah, I was nine years old at home playing football like every kid. And then all of a sudden, I had this idea to shoot a free kick. Yeah, a free kick at home. Make it make sense. And in front of me was a mirror. Big ass mirror. I thought that was the goal. I said, yeah, why not shoot it to the mirror? No explanation, no reason. My insensitive thoughts, just one. And I said, yeah, fuck it. I'm about to shoot it in there. I was sitting out of the ball thinking that I was Junino. Took three steps back and then shot the perfect free kick. I'm talking in here about Beckham level of free kick. Messi level of free kick. It was crazy. I never seen a free kick get shot that perfectly. I'm talking it's going straight up to the middle of the mirror. And then, yeah, what the f*** happened? Exactly. The mirror broke. It was my father's favorite mirror. Then my mom came running and saw this and said, yeah, once your father gets home, yeah, you are cooked. So my father, basically, when he got home, my mother presented him like when Teddy Long used to present uh, the Undertaker in SmackDown. Yeah, that's basically what happened. You are about to face the Undertaker. And my father was actually strong as fuck. He was built like Shug Knights. Strong with nothing. Bro didn't hit the gym once in his life. And he's strong. I don't understand what the fuck his genetics are so he goes home and my tactics were that let me go sleep so my father when he gets home he can't wake me up you know that's dumb tactics my father woke me up my father was so angry he started hitting me with like batista bombs arky o's f5s i'm talking people elbows everything all he had left in him that he didn't do is that jeff hardy finisher jumping from above the building he left me on one hp then i sat in the corner of the room that night was el clasico and also he was a Big, big Real Madrid fan. He was probably more of a Real Madrid fan than Florentino Perez. So yeah, I was sitting in the corner, sitting there so angry, not sad. You know, when you are so mad that you start getting angry from the inside, not the outside. In my mind, I was screaming. I was so angry. I was punching walls, but I was doing nothing. Basically sitting in there while he turned the TV and he starts watching El Clasico. At that time, I wasn't a fan of any team i was a little bit fan of ac milan but i was more a fan of the players for example i was a big fan of zidane ronaldinho kaka maldini nesta and because a lot of these players played at milan that's why i became a milan fan but barcelona i didn't care that much so i was sitting in there watching the game with him and all of a sudden my father gets so angry so quickly for no reason they can miss a pass and he starts screaming at that like Real Madrid considered the goal and I was so scared at that time to even speak about the game and then Barcelona scored and since I was so angry I just screamed and once I screamed in my mind I thought I was cooked again that one HP left in me was getting taken away it's it was done bro was about to finish me but no that didn't happen my father actually didn't do nothing he actually spoke with me and said that oh lucky goal like this I thought oh that's interesting and then after that I thought why not add a little bit of trash talk to see what the will happen and then Barcelona again scored I don't remember exactly what I said but I said like maybe our oh, Real Madrid are getting cooked or they are or something like this and my father didn't react all he said maybe again let's see when the game ends that's all he said and it was basically a conversation it was fun and I thought hey why not I start supporting Barcelona what the will happen that's actually fun we're having fun we're just talking our teams so why not start supporting barcelona that's when i start supporting barcelona then in school i was actually getting bullied a lot just because i was so short i was the youngest in class and honestly i deserve that because i always did some stupid shit and always talk too much but anyways that's not important so everyone in my class was a real madrid fan and me i said yeah it. let me say that i'm a barca fan they all laughed at me seriously i didn't care and then one day we decided that we will watch the game all together of el clasico and honestly that was perfect i don't remember what game it was but i remember barcelona winning that night and i was trash talking all of them and nothing happened no one bullied me so yeah barcelona actually made me have fun watching football that's why i started supporting barcelona because i like to trash talk my first trash talk other teams and honestly that era from 2007 8 something like this to 2015 was actually the best era to be a Barca fan yeah i was cooking motherfuckers left and right no one can talk to me about barcelona they were top of the world they had the best players they were going crazy every year and then after that i'm getting cooked right now i made this channel to talk about barcelona i speak more about real madrid than barcelona because barcelona ain't doing shit it's, they're getting cooked every week and I'm getting cooked with them. Have you seen my comments, brother? Everyone is cooking me. But I believe that, that time again will change and that's probably Barcelona will start cooking again so I can't rush off motherfucker. 
I don't know where the fuck that era will come again because I don't see it coming any soon, especially after what's happening with our club. So that was the story of how I become a Barca fan. Hopefully I enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you.